Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Extreme versus Randomizer Nuzlocke episode number 8 with your boy Shady Sint and of course joining me as always is the illustrious man himself Mr. Houndoomer. How you going buddy? I'm doing pretty good so far. I haven't had a death in a little while but having said that I feel like I just jinxed myself. So <laughs> yeah there's that now. <laughs> Um, Having a lot of fun. As you guys know, oh, this, sorry. This, yeah, You're, that's okay. Go, it's yeah, your go episode, man. You do the intro. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just gonna say, make sure, guys, it goes up alternating. Make sure you subscribe to both of us. Um, Fridays are, are on Mr. Houndoomer's channel in US time. So yeah, noon US, US time. You're fine. If you're in, a sh yeah, um, and then they go up on Sunday on my channel, but that's Australian time. So either side of that you guys will be fine um which and yeah if you're interested um for those in the u.s wanting to watch it for his channel that's about 13 hours from central time uh in the united states his uh there where he's at is 13 hours ahead of us so if they want to time that out yeah just throwing that out there yep <laughs> It's made for a bit of interesting recording time, so as you'll probably yeah. see. Um, and yeah. Yep. Early morning or yeah. late at night. <laughs> There's no in between, guys. There is no in between. It's one of the two. <laughs> That's the dedication we have to the series and you guys. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, make sure, like, comment, subscribe to both of us. And yeah, um, shall we get this show on the road, my man? Shall Let's we, get uh, this started. I gotta. Go beat some bad guys in a big old windmill. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. All right, All right let's, let's get into this. Oh, episode. right. Can't just walk in there. The door's <laughs> locked. They probably watch this kid run into the glass on the outside. What are you doing? What? Why are you running in here? Oh, right, right. I got a key. <laughs> oh no, he's got a key. Oh, Run away. I'm just imagining a someone like animated that, just having a kid just running into like the valley window, window like the window of it, and just kept yeah. running into it. And it's oh my god. Sitting there la pointing oh, and man, laughing and funny. stuff like that, and then all of a sudden he whips out the key, and then they're like, wait, what? What? You ever imagine these scenarios from the bad guy's perspective? Yeah. Just, just kind of like, for fun, like team rocket they're in sylphco and they're just standing around making sure nobody comes in here and then this flipping kid comes in and just demolishes everybody and then <laughs> walks out the whole team yeah <laughs> and then you i'm also imagining like you last episode you walked up to the plasma grunts to get the key yeah you just this kid just pulls up to him he's like yo give me the key and then yeah. he beats the shit out of him. It's, like, <laughs> it's just like oh Oh, uh, yeah. This is just oh, random you... nobody and stuff. Um... Okay. I have a Dioxus on my screen, just in case anyone's not paying attention, but, you know. Is it another normal mode one? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Yikes. And it has crit me three times, so... Oh man, you think it's got? Wait, does Serene is Serene Grace an ability in this gen? Uh, who normally has it? Doesn't Toge Togekiss have it? Uh, I think so. Yeah, that like ups the so, ability yes. of or ups the chance of move or of moves abilities happening, doesn't it? So yeah. if something has a chance um, to crit, it increases the chance. Nice. If it's got a chance to par paralyze, it's got increased chance for that. Um, that would be a nice ability to have on a Pokemon. Actually, would be. Uh, um, so I'm a bit of a problem then. Deoxys is a pretty powerful sucks. Pokemon. Yeah. Might as well get all I the experience I can. Didn't you just get a team of four again? 
Team of five, yeah. Oh yeah, oh Might right. Sack someone. That Turtwig and... Oh, um, the... Azamara? Oz... Yeah, that broken one. It's, um, it's like Ghost Dark. Do I gamble? I'm not gambling. Could you... Oh, we are definitely not gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have bulk up? What is this? Oh, uh, well, Please on the plus protected. side, that's not going to affect uh, crits. It won't get any extra sure. damage off of a crit. Okay, you have casually have Dragon Pulse. Okay, we're, we're, uh, we're looking at losing someone here, guys. Wow. He lived. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Um, See, I got strategies against all these guys whenever I know what their typing is, but when you don't know the typing... Oh, it makes things difficult. It really does, guys. All the ability. Oh, yeah, the ability as well. And the moves. Okay. If I was a Dioxys, what would I do? I'm in the red. I'm in the red. Is this a wild one or a trainer? Trainer. Oh, that's even worse. So... Kind of, and I'm out of healing items because I. Oh no! If I switch out to, if I had healing items, this would be fine. I could kind of just sit here. Um. If I can. Okay. Oh, I knew it was gonna get this poisoned. This is my only play. Ah, dang right. it! I have one play. I forgot. Olivia learnt this move last episode. Okay, you stop Okay. Okay. Alright. I forgot my Olivia. Let's suck a punch last episode. Oh, nice. So. Logically speaking. If it goes for an he attack. attacks. If he attacks, I win. Mm -hmm. Hey, I didn't have to sack anyone. Wicked. I'm glad I taught him that, actually. I heard that. Okay. Hell yeah. Nice strategy. I'm glad I got rid of, um... What's it called? Uh... Sweet set for that. Oh, that was clutch. That was actually the clutches. Do you normally use Sucker Punch? I normally never do. Me? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a great move. One of those, it, it does decent damage, and if they're gonna hit you, you basically get a free shot on them. It's kind of like, uh, what's it called? Um, fake out. It's like a more yeah, powerful version of that. You, you're you guaranteed a free shot on them, which is awesome. Mm. I'm big on using or utilizing everything I can in the during the games and stuff I used to just yeah, be all that's... offensive and stuff but then I got to the point where it's like you know what they got all these extra moves and stuff why not try and use them all right I'm going after commander pointy hair here ah uh, yes is that Mars yeah just be careful she may whip out a... Oh, don't, don't even say uh, it. I'm already nervous enough after saying that I didn't lose anybody for a little bit. She's got two. She's got a Mime Junior. Yes! Good start. Good start. <laughs> um, I need more healing items. That's actually pretty much the general consensus here. I need more. Oh, it's got Weather Ball. What is that going to do? Okay, that is nothing. What did you think about whenever they started adding the trash talking during the fight? From like the bigger guys or the like bosses and gym leaders and stuff? Did you find that more... What do you mean like trash talking? Like whenever they would... Like I just hit her Pokemon she says, What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Oh... Did you enjoy that addition oh, I guess it, to it, or was it more like, ah, you're just stalling the game, let's let's get on with this? 
Um, it, it kind of adds, I guess it kind of adds more character, like more personality to the character. Yeah. Oh no. Like. <laughs> oh no, this chance he just used but water yeah. sport. Oh, sport. Oh, I thought it was spout. Don't scare <laughs> me like that, Chansey. I'm getting out of here. Oh, God. Or, no, it's not even a Chansey. Oh, it's a man. Blissey. It's worse. <laughs> uh, Chansey last episode, Blissey this episode, mate. You know, right? What you need is a um, Papini, and you're looking pretty good. Yeah, well, I guess that'll have to be in the next episode. <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah. Oh, it's using bounce. Okay, it's gonna be everyone, not faster. Does everyone just does everyone have fighting type moves in this game, or are we just? I guess. I mean, as long as it's not fighting type moves, that's the bane of my existence right now. Is fighting type moves. What was yours? You are you? Didn't all yours weak to water or something? Uh, fighting. Is it fighting on your Actually, side too? Yeah, except now I got um, I've got the Azumarill. Oh yeah, that but thing. It's not leveled up. Fighting can't even touch that thing. Yeah, but it's not leveled up yet, so. Right. Uh, I'm gonna put a hard pass on that. <laughs> um. Oh. Yeah, fighting, kind of just. Oh my! Don't reverse me, please. Man, and anything could have a trap move or a trap ability. So you could be yep. just trying to grind it up and boom, you're toast. Mm-hmm. You'll be you'll be gone. Alright. Thank you for healing my Pokemon, my Beat name. Mars. Masterful. I'll take the star piece though. <laughs> Actually, really good. That's actually good. Uh, I... Wait, did I just walk? I just save your butt, and you don't even give me anything. That's so ungrateful. So ungrateful. Hey, why can't he be the? Uh, why can't he be the scientist in Gen Three and give you a cast form? Right? Oh my gosh, a static encounter would be amazing right now, especially since it'd be probably level ten or fifteen. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, actually, pretty cool. Okay. Goldeen. Icy Wind. Great. I just want my turret to evolve, guys. That's all I ask. <laughs> you just need one need level on it. One level, 1,000 experience. That's all I ask. Ooh, that's Is that so much to ask for? That's not bad, depending on what your wild encounters are. Yeah, actually. And I'm about to get to the best spot, so I'm looking pretty nice. I'm about to go after another encounter. God, he's, he's going, uh, he's going, um, going in deep for this one. He's going to get that 205 encounter. Yeah. I might actually have a full team at some point, unless I do something really stupid. Which is likely to happen. I'm a bit of a riskier player when it comes to Nuzlocke's. Although, That's fine. I have learned to be a little cautious in this one. Um, must be. Um, Pokeballs. Hmm. I got 16 Pokeballs. I do have some. That's a decent amount, actually. Might get some okay. more. Um. Seeing as I'm going to get to a turn of forest this episode. Oh, nice. Okay, guys, me and Mr. Houndoom agreed that a while ago, we agreed that you, your first encounter in a turn of forest is when you're by yourself, not with Cheryl. Yeah. Because she does have a tendency to kill your encounter. So we both thought that it would be better if we get the encounter when we're by ourselves and not with her, which means that we'd have to clear a turn of forest. Um, we have to get to the end of a turn of forest to get to get the encounter. So yeah, I thought I'd let you guys know because 
I'd forgotten about that. I'm glad you mentioned it. Yeah, because I literally got into the um, <laughs> forest just now, so but, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. But uh, the same, the Nuzlocke rules still do apply as far as if a Pokemon faints, even if oh, it's yeah. with her or something like that, <clears throat> it's still gone. Yeah, all that's still the same, guys. It's just the encounter part. Because I did do a, um, a diamond... Nuzlocke, and she, uh, did she kill my Pokemon? I can't remember. I <laughs> Probably. Just remember watching some, oh, some people play it and they lost their encounter, like, because she killed it, so. Uh, this does not count. Huh. Voltorb and a Pidgeot. Pidgeot. That's not a bad one, or but not bad ones there. Voltorb mm. is pretty fast. And that is a worry. That is a concern. And Pidgeot's fully evolved Pokemon. Oh, wait, sorry. Pidgeotto, sorry. My bad. I, <laughs> I completely butchered that. Oh, oh man. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Blaze Kick. Uh, I'm a rock type, mate. That's gonna do nothing. Nothing. That's gonna do nothing. <laughs> okay, Macargo. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Battling a kid what? with a level 14 wall rain right now. Ooh. It's got magma storm. Ooh. Put it to sleep, but it's still getting damage off of that magma. Oh, I hope this takes yeah. it out. No, it didn't, and I got to recharge. Dang it. Have you gotten your account of it yet? No, I was trying for it. I. I was trying to sneak past him, but it didn't work. Oh, it's trying to use Wish to heal up. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. How many turns does it take for Wish to heal you up? Is it the next turn? Two? I believe it's two. <clears throat> I believe. So it's kind of like uh, Future Sight, but uh, healing. Oh, crud. That didn't do anything. You know what, I'm going to keep battling in the grass to level up. Uh, Turtwig actually might be good. Oh, there's Krogunks in here. Oh, dude. Flareons as well. Oh my god. That's pretty neat, man. I'm a big fan of Flareon. I, I love that evolution. They're all neat, mm. but I like the fire types personally. Hell yeah. What, okay. What did you end um, up saying yours was again? I feel like it was Umbrian and Vaporeon. Yeah. I'm a sucker for water types, and I just like some dark types that are pretty cool. So some dark types are pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Come on, come on. There we go. There goes the wall rain. What typing are you, Krogunk? Are you ice type? You are not an ice type, okay. <laughs> okay. Speed boost Mikago. Really? I've never seen that before. Wow. <laughs> what a that's an interesting uh interesting ability, guys. And has he has fire punch, so I mean I'm gonna use the honey. Might as well since I got it. Oh, you did. Instant encounter. The encounter on this route okay. is. I don't know how I feel about that one. It's a uh, route. Not too bad. It's not if it normally turns into you know like curly yeah, Gardevoir, <laughs> but. Yeah. True. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, it's got Barrage. I would say. Yikes. Barrage. Yeah, that's a terrible move for her routes. It's like giving a, an Abra Fury attack or something. 
That's true. That's not damage. Um, I was gonna say, um, Routes' stats are pretty, pretty terrible. They are. But it does evolve at level 20, so. Oh, dang 20. it. I was thinking it was like 16, like Abra. It is 20, isn't it? I'm like 99% sure. Yeah, I, I think you're right on that one. <clears throat> and then it's like 30 for Gardevoir. On the plus side, yeah. it's got a pretty good catch rate, and I just got it pretty easy, so. That's a plus. Yes, yeah, that is true. I love finding it in Gen 3. Yeah. Okay, it's rock and grass. That's a Lilip. And it's a girl. Perfect. A Lily it is. A Lilip. Hell yeah, man. You got yourself a fossil, man. That's sick. Yeah. Oh, All yeah. Right. I saw something Toe about twig. on one of your uh, videos that came out. Something about fossils being awesome. Did you get a Moltres out of one of oh, those things? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to spoil yeah, anything in... on here or anything, but if you want to hype no, no, up no, your it's own just, episode, um, man. Yeah, um, basically <clears throat> in Gen 5, like Black and White 2, you can't redeem your fossils until post-game. Oh. So what I did was that I use it as like a token to re-encounter on a route, and I picked a route, and it had a Moltres on it. So yeah. Hence, fossils are crazy, because you, you basically... I'd been in that route before and had seen the encounters, and it was just insane. <laughs> but anyway, my Turtwig is evolving, so I'm kind of oh, nice. keen to see what this turns into. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What the? What is this? What is this evolution? Oh no, it's going to evolve again next episode. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> is this something low like that? I now have a Charmeleon. <laughs> oh, nice. And my Turtwig has evolved into the fire type. Oh my god. And then next episode, it's going to evolve. Wait, no, it's not. Scratch that. Disregard everything I just said. It'd be 36. Huh. Charmeleon wow. evolves into Charizard at 36. Yeah, I just. I was like, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I thought it was a Charmander. That was my bad. Oh. Um, uh, my route. Fire type. So this routes is terrible. It's got barrage, hammer arm, karate chop, and endure, but it's only got ten attack. <laughs> it's routes, so man. bad. Oh, I'm gonna have to try and train this thing up. Do I risk Azure Barrel? Although its ability is pretty nice. It's got damp, so they can't self-destruct on Ooh. it. That's actually really good. Now I forget, can they still or still self-destruct and it just doesn't affect the Pokemon, or does it just prevent them yes. from self-destructing altogether? Uh, the first option. Where they still still self-destruct, but it just doesn't affect them. Yeah. Sweet. Let's see what else I could have got here. I... <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is kind of cutting out on me here. Oh, I got another rounds. Come on now. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see if routes can take okay. out routes. <laughs> that seems like a very oh no, it's using the, it's using the same strategy as me. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. I was using Karate Chop. It did about half damage. Uh, at. What you're typing? Ground. Did about half damage with a normal hit, so if I if I don't get a crit and it does, I just lose my routes right there. Not doing it. Oh. Oh, I went for barrage. Of course it did. They knew I was switching. <laughs> Predicted. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Ah, oh, whip wow. door. Oh. 
You asked about the moves earlier. Okay. Uh, when I was a kid, I was big on the offense where it was just all attacking moves and stuff like that. But as I got older, I decided, you know what? They got these other moves. I want to try them. Let's, let's see what these do, how I can strategize with these and use these and things like that. So it became more fun and it, I think, made me a lot better at the game. Hmm. Yeah. Dang it! Last episode we had a <laughs> every... we had a bit of trouble with certain Pokemon, so yeah. Ah, every time um... they turn. I'm listening to you. It's just I keep getting caught. Maybe it's because I'm trying to run past them. But oh my gosh, he's Maybe got. they're like. Like. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This guy looks very good. Did you fight yeah, that I hiker guy? Yes. Ah. Oh. He has like a team of four. Yes, yes, and his first one's a Cresselia. Wow. <clears throat> that has drought. Wow, actually. Let's talk about phys sorry, especially defensive wall. Yeah, I'm I'm switching into my Venusaur. Because I can put it to sleep and I can heal with it, so unless it takes me Dang it, used whirlwind. Please don't put in routes. Please don't put in routes. It put in routes. Dang it, come on. <laughs> it knows, man. It knows. It does. Like... Ah. That's not right. Let's try this again. How's things going on your end? You make it to the next town? Oh wait, you were in the forest. Nah. Yeah, I'm still I'm still chilling in the forest. Okay. Did you get your encounter there? Ah, uh, no, nah, I probably won't get my encounter until, like, um, like, next episode. Gotcha. Because the forest is a bit big, and it's all double battles. Yeah, so those take a bit longer. Plus, you get free yeah, healing so there, I'll so you might as well take advantage of it for a little chance to heal your, or train your Pokemon up. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm kind of rolling with. Oh, this thing's using smoke screen on me. Who, 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 who goes for rest turn one? Do what? Like, who who clicks rest turn one? That's just... That's, that's what just I'm very, saying. Um, that's what happened to me earlier. With that, uh... All right. <clears throat> I don't even remember what it was, but... Uh, I was like... I did one damage to it, or a little bit of damage to it, and it used rest, so it healed that damage up, and then I just used outrage and wiped it out. Yeah, that's. Uh... Yeah, right. it's just not. It was quite. Okay, this Cresselia yeah. is literally just using whirlwind and smoke screen. <laughs> oh, it's, it's undoing all of its good work. Oh, it's so trolly. It's trying to stall me out here. We still got like 10 minutes left and it's gonna stall me out still. He's still got three more Pokemon. Yep. He has a big team. <sighs> I'm pretty sure he normally has like Geodudes and stuff. Yeah, it's like three Geodudes and maybe a uh, Machop or something like that. Oh, I went for Uproar. Crap, now I can't put it to sleep. <laughs> Glad oh, I remembered man. that. Okay, Bullet Punch did... Wait, I didn't hit a Bullet Punch. Stone Edge. Decent damage, okay. Oh, that was a crit, never mind. <laughs> Cresselia is an odd Pokemon. Yes. It's a very weird Pokemon. In what way? In. I mean, um, just the overall shape of it. It's got these little. I don't know if it's its arms that like loop and go around it, or if those are like little fins that go down. It's got this half moon helmet on its head, little tribal paint on its cheek. It's just a very odd Pokemon. It's not saying that's a bad thing. I like odd stuff. <clears throat> hmm. I'm actually doing a Dragon Warrior Monsters Let's Play on my other or on uh, another series. 
<laughs> and I'm yeah. enjoying thoroughly the weird monsters on there that you find. Oh, okay. Oh, they've got some... Like, there's one called... Uh, I think it's called Bean Man. And it... <laughs> It's literally a, a bean pod standing on two legs with arms, eyes. It's holding a spear, and it has, like, the little sprout sticking up for its head type of thing. Or for, like, hair or something. It's ridiculous, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> or one called a bull bird. It's a bull standing on its hind legs. With tiny little chicken arms, but no feathers. It's just the little arm without the feathers on a bull standing on two legs with uh, like a massive beak. What? I, what do, I don't know. It is so ridiculous. Oh uh, my God. But I want one of them because it's so ridiculous. Wow. Oh, there's so many weird monsters on there. I've encountered so many weird things. I think you'd actually like the game a lot. It's a bit older. It's like uh, 98 for the Game Boy Color. But you should yeah. definitely check it out sometime. But I think you'd like it. Okay. You go around okay. and you still collect monsters to be able to raise up and you know progress in the storyline. But you breed them together. And they make a new monster you lose the old one but they make a stronger monster that can get stronger than the former two and stuff like that okay it's it's interesting it's not a bad game though and if you're watching i'd recommend that the game for you guys as well if you're a fan of pokemon you it's kind of that same style of stuff hmm. while oh. we oh Oh yeah, sunlight. Why is the sunlight still going? It's been like 10 turns over here. Yeah. Weather in this game lasts forever. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. It lasts a very long time. It's gotta have been more than five turns because that Cresselia used at least three whirlwinds on me and at least three or four smoke screens and it did not use sunny day just had the drought ability <laughs> that's even worse right I'm gonna take advantage of it and use ember on this thing though please don't hurt yourself dang it Lugia oh my gosh no this cherum has dragon rage damn uh, oh no. what's your what's your HP? What's your max HP? Max is fifty nine. Uh, oh no, he's got one more Pokemon left after this too. Okay, use lava um, plume. Use lava plume. Oh, that took me down to thirty eight. Well, but I've got okay, okay. I've got Oranberry. I can get myself above it. Um, and I've got lots of potions, but I need to be up enough. Okay, and all my other Pokemon, except for Lily, have over 40 HP, and they have over 40 left. So they can each take a hit. Okay. okay oh, that's this cool. is terrifying. That's... I wish this thing would stop going for Lava Plume, and I just got burned. Ah, uh, that's... Oh man, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that's a that's a bit. Dang it, I'm gonna have to switch. Uh -huh. So, I've done two double, two wild Pokemon battles, right? You've only done two, two wild plumes and like double battles, right? Oh, two like. Like wild battles, not including trainers. Yeah. I ran into two vile plumes and two crow gunks back to back. Um, that's a bit weird. I'm just <laughs> saying, running into the same Pokemon. Um, um, last time I did a battle this late, I got blasted. Um, 
So let's run it back. <laughs> I mean, you could. I mean, that could mean that you're going to get one of those as your encounter. You do like Krogon. I do like Krogon. I am a and vile plumes, massive fan of Krogon. My vile plume is a pretty strong Pokemon. Who is the biggest opponent that's going to have to end my suffering? Probably the Eltario. Okay. <laughs> I think we only have like a couple minutes left anyway, so I'm going to try and slippity get this battle done real quick. Yeah, I'm still in the same one. And my Venusaur keeps hitting itself in confusion. I, I was able to put the Cherim to sleep, but then mm -hmm. I keep hitting myself in confusion. I've got milk drink so I can heal myself, but I need to not hurt myself in confusion first. So I'm going to have to use a potion because if it wakes up and hits me with Dragon Rage, that's it. And it's going for Lava yeah, Plume yeah. again. How many PP uh, does Lava Plume have? I mean, I'm glad it's not using Dragon Rage, but... 15? Is it 15? Oh, please don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. <laughs> oh, and the sleep powder missed. Okay, okay, but it... Okay, just use Lava Plume again. And now that one's burned. Can we stop Jeez, with man. this? All right. It's like I already have you out of the picture. Ah, uh, because we're about out of time, but I'm going to be in this battle for a minute. Yeah, I'm in a battle as well, so I'm kind of just uh, trudging along. Um, who's in the best position to fight? Oh, and it's got Blast Burn. Wait, Blast Burn has a recharge <laughs> on it, right? Yep. Okay, good. I can take advantage of that. Do you have burn heal? Hmm. Okay. Uh, this cargo is kind of carrying me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, I don't know how, but it just is carrying me just as carrying me. Man, I hope I'm not confused whenever I go to attack again. This is so bad. Oh, and there's the Dragon Rage. Oh, did you actually lose someone? Not yet, but I am very close. Uh, because I know it has 10. Yeah, 10 I've, KP. it's used 2. Oh. I've got... Well, I had 3 Super Potions, but I just used 1. And it's going to start spamming Dragon Rage. That's 3. If I could just snap out of Confusion and use Milk Drink, I'd be okay. I think. I think that would heal me up enough. I might just have to switch. I do not want to lose anybody here. Honestly, uh, I don't blame you. This flipping hiker, man. Okay, wait for Blast Burn. Yes! Yes! Well, I'm just, uh... I'm just chilling, guys. Because <laughs> time's up anyway, but obviously... I am trying, I swear. He's in a struggle, so we'll let him uh, do his thing. Oh, snapped out of confusion. Thank goodness. put it to sleep I'm gonna use milk drink and then going to hit this thing with a stone edge and hopefully it dies this sunlight <laughs> is also killing me because it is increasing the blast burn and the lava plume and it's taking more time oh my gosh 
Now I know how those other guys feel whenever they're in an intense battle and they're recording it and stuff and they're like sweating and stuff during it during like a Pokemon game and you're like, ah, it's ridiculous. Like, no, no, this is intense. Yes, one shot with the stone edge. In your face, you flipping cherub. Please don't have anything bad for your last one. Please don't have anything bad. <laughs> this is where you have mercy. Bust busts out the Dialga. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and Ralts wants to learn Razor Wind. Uh, I hate two- Hell yeah. I hate two turn moves. <sighs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you got? Come on. I know the sunlight is strong. Just send your next Pokemon out, jeez. <laughs> oh gosh, he's got a Kangaskhan. <laughs> oh damn, boy. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna love looking at all this uh, when I do the editing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try to keep the editing easy on your end and not die. Okay, good start, but it's sleep. I'm just sticking with the Venusaur. I'm not doing any switch training right now. Dang it, that means I gotta wait till the next episode to find out what that item that I had to go through all this crap for is. I know, man. Oh wait, time's up. I'm, I can it's, use uh... speed up now, huh? Yeah. I keep forget okay, I just one shot Go for it. it. I just one shot that thing. <laughs> oh man, that was uh <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm like oh, two my... steps away from that item. <laughs> just grab the item. You just sure? Grab it. Are you sure? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. It's an uh... You're going through hell. Just grab it. <laughs> it's an aqua oh, berry. <laughs> I don't know Hold what that does, but it's a berry. Uh, Let's see. A Poffin ingredient. Held by a Pokemon, it weakens a foe's super effective fire type attack. Oh, actually, I will end up giving that to Lugia. Yeah, okay, so well, was. I am all wrapped up. I am good to go, man. Cool. All right. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure you subscribe to both of us because it is alternating between both our channels with Mr. Houndoom having all of the odd number episodes. So, you know, three, five, seven, nine, so forth. And I have all the even ones. Aside from um, the first episode. Yeah, aside from obviously the first episode. But yep. um, is there anything else you'd like to say, my man? Um... No, I think that about wraps it up. Other than we'll see you all in the next cool. episode, and thanks, everybody. What's up? Yeah, cool. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oh. What was that? No, I was just saying, you know, thanks all to the fans and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. Are you still recording? All right. No, no. Oh, uh, yeah, I still am, yeah. Okay. So, well, this is going to be a cool. little fun part at the end. <laughs> yeah, this could be a little... Um... <laughs> scuffed, scuffed ending guys but anyway guys thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode see you later